Good day, viewers. We're here to shed light on the escalating crisis in Haiti, where the national police force is facing unprecedented challenges. Over the past three years, the Haitian police have seen a drastic reduction in their ranks, with nearly 3,300 officers leaving the force due to the severe dangers posed by escalating gang violence. The situation has taken a dire turn as powerful gangs have seized control over significant parts of the capital, leading to rampant violence and displacing approximately 200,000 citizens. Essential supplies are dwindling, contributing to a humanitarian emergency that includes a cholera outbreak, with access to clean water and food becoming increasingly scarce. In a desperate plea for international assistance, the Haitian government has successfully lobbied for a multinational force sanctioned by the United Nations. In an unprecedented move, Kenya has pledged to lead this force, preparing to deploy 1,000 officers to restore order and support the Haitian police. Despite these efforts, the United States has opted for a different approach, focusing on strengthening the Haitian National Police and imposing visa restrictions on individuals fueling the gang violence, while also dispatching a Coast Guard vessel to patrol the waters. The international community's mixed responses reflect a deep-seated hesitancy, born from the historical complexities and past interventions in Haiti. As the situation develops, the world watches, hoping for a resolution to a crisis that has pushed Haiti to the brink. For more updates, stay tuned.